Hey, what is up watch fans? This is Pat with another watch video. Today, I'm gonna take up this Cessna 172. I'm here in San Diego at Gillespie Airport and I'm gonna compare the FAA certified altimeters in airplanes here with uh, some altimeter watches. I've got three watches on today. I have the uh, Sunto Core, the uh, Casio PRW3500, and uh, an older SGW1000. The watches are, you know, they're fairly inexpensive. This one was about 30, 30 bucks, and then these two were about 200 bucks. And the altimeter on an airplane is going to be anywhere between 300 to a thousand dollars, depending on. Uh, how new it is and these altimeters are certified every 24 months so I'm gonna climb up as high as I can get in this 172 which might not be that high this is 180 horsepower and it's empty except for me and it does have full fuel I own a few altimeter watches because I, I like to use them when I go hiking and I also use them when I fly my paramotor and uh, if you haven't seen my paramotor channel definitely check that out I'll put a link down below for that let's get up in the air and we'll uh, see how these cheap altimeters do compared to a real certified altimeter. Airport elevations at 388. And uh, I set the watches to 388. Here's the altimeter. All right, so we're all indicating about the same. Gillespie Ground, Cessna 4956 Delta at the uh, Fuel Island with uh, Romeo and uh, Taxi for takeoff. Cessna 4956 Delta, Gillespie Ground, runway 27 right, Taxi via yeah, Alpha Delta, cross runway 35. Alpha Delta cross 35 to 27 right, uh, Cessna 56 Delta. <laughs> I hope no one can see me with my three watches. What's up with that pilot? That guy's crazy. He's a weirdo. Turn right, clear for takeoff. Make right down with departure. Clear for takeoff, two seven right, right down with departure. Cessna five six Delta. All right, off we go. Ooh, noisy airplane. And off we go. Trigger 76 Victor, follow the test to head off the right down with departure. I'm going to be 27 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 27 right, 76 Victor. Test 701, so top of the turnkey, I'm going to be 27 right, clear for takeoff. Ah, it's nice up here, it's cooling off, it's like 65 or at 4,000 feet. Nice and smooth. Nice. Alright, so we are climbing through. Five, almost 5,000 feet here. Climbing through 5,000 feet, and we got all the altimeters are pretty much right there. The Casios don't refresh as frequently as the Suto. I like this airplane. Flies pretty well. Flies pretty well for $100 an hour. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with how well this thing's climbing. Although there's no one in it except for me. And about uh, 40 gallons of fuel. 400 feet a minute, 9,100 feet-ish. Doing pretty good still. Kind of losing steam though. Just crossed 10,000 feet. I'm going to go up to 10,500 and then I'm going to call it quits. The airplane is starting to just peter out, it's just the air is getting thinner. 10,500 feet, and these are indicating 10,520, 10,500, so they're all basically like right spot on. There's hardly any difference. Maybe 50 feet, which is not a substantial amount if you consider that we're 10,000 feet up. So, let's check it out. Let's see, we got uh, Lake Cuyamac down here. Cleanaca. We got the desert out here. Salt Sea. Cruise of Gorge is right down there. I would say this altimeter test was a success. I'm really impressed with the accuracy. It's really, I mean, it's it's just as accurate as an airplane altimeter, which is pretty impressive. Six 
6,900 feet. And we got 6,900 feet right there. My friend's house is over here. I wonder if he's home. Let's go see if he's home. There's Casey down there. All right guys, made it back safe and sound. The altimeters are all indicating like exactly the same. So pretty good. I'm really impressed with how accurate this was. When we were up at 10,000 feet and the watches were only about 50 feet off from the airplane altimeter, 50 divided by 10,000 is like half a percent. So it's 99 and a half percent accurate. If you need an altimeter for paramotoring or hiking, I would not hesitate to rely on the Casio or the Sunto. They're both, the accuracy is the same. It is very important to understand how these altimeters work though, and how temperature affects them and how you set them. It's, it's not just like you turn it on and it works immediately correctly. So if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it with a friend, and uh, if you'd like to support more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. It helps support uh, future videos. So thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time on the next watch video. Thanks a lot. See you later.